Okay. Step three. And uh, it looks like Nichols getting ready for us to do it. Um, this is the simplest one, really. It's uh, you're just handling your horse on a loose rein. So I asked him to walk off here, and he's just going to kind of walk every which direction he wants to, probably back towards the gate. Makes sense. That's where that's the direction of home, obviously. And, uh, you know, but we'll just say, hey, when we get to the gate, you got to keep walking. Can't stop your feet. So that's step one of step three, or part one of step three, uh, is walk on a loose rein. And a lot of horses I see and train and work with, um, especially out at uh, different boarding stables, they just can't even walk on a loose rein. Um, and so your, your horse is out of control at that moment. Um, it'd, be much, it'd be much nicer if you can just kind of walk around like this. And then if your horse gets worried about something, just kind of ride with him. You see how he didn't really go all that far, but a lot of people would go jerking around on the reins or chasing their horse all over the place, getting mad at him for getting spooked about something. Just sit with him, ride with him, handle it. That's kind of the point of horsemanship, uh, is especially if you have your own horse and you're getting to the point of training them, you gotta be able to ride your horse confidently on a loose rein. And then I guess we'll mix in a little step four with this too, because that's how you kind of work through the progression. It's one and two I said were couplets, three and four are couplets. So step three is, walk, trot, and canter on a loose rein. And you wanna kind of build that up progressively. You don't wanna go trotting around on a loose rein if you feel out of control at the walk. So how do you get control at the walk? Oh, we go back to try step one and flex their neck around. And look at that. They stop immediately. Pretty nice. So go back, step three again. Check if you can walk on a loose rein and then check if you can bend around on the left side and his feet will stop. Sometimes he'll walk two or three circles. You just sit there and go around the circle. It's just light lateral flexion and, uh, and he learns that the light at the end of the tunnel is, uh, is when you stop. So we'll walk again. He, he, uh, notice how every time he stopped, he wanted to uh, turn back, face home. He didn't want to face you guys uh, when we stopped. That's okay, so we'll say, perfect. Now let's go to part two of step three, trot on a loose rein. I really like being next to this gate here. I really like be getting ready to go home. So let's just trot near home. Now, I'm not forcing him to stay here. I'm not making him do tiny circles. And he's got a little bit of stiffness there. That'll go away as we ride around a little bit. And you see now, I didn't steer him. I didn't trot him, you know, I didn't ask him to go any place new. And he took me all the way back over to this corner of the arena. So then we'll bend down the right rein. Look for him to stop. And say, hey, that's pretty cool. All right. So then let's go back. Can we, are we in control at the standstill? Are we in control walking on a loose rein? Now can we trot on a loose rein? And you cruise around and you make sure you're pretty good at trotting on a loose rein and then you check, can you canter on a loose rein? And it doesn't matter where he goes, what we're looking at, you just ride right between his ears and see if he'll kind of just start to get round. And you see, if he spooks or if he looks at new stuff, you just sit right in the middle and your horse isn't gonna do all that much especially if you don't make it worse by pulling on them. See, I just grabbed that uh, front saddle pad with my rein hand and we travel along like it's no big deal. And you see how he kind of gets round and he realizes, oh, okay, we're going fast and he's not steering anywhere. I better not run into any corners. Watch him try that. He goes, oh, never mind. That seems a little weird there. A little self-control. 
There we go. He goes, all right. He's starting to take responsibility for himself. He's not going to get himself into the, any of these little weird traps if you kind of show him that you'll let him make that mistake. You know, this is all riding, what riding on a loose rein is all about. And you see how he kind of rated his own speed there? So we'll say, all right, let's go back to trot. And we'll say, cool, canner. And I'll just help him there so he doesn't go seeking treats from Niana. And we'll say, keep cannering. He's feeling good today. He's got to get a little warmed up. There we go. See, now he's getting a little round on that side. But you see, this is the beauty of being able to ride on your own in an arena too. Now, a lot of people have to have friends with them as like a safety net. But then, what does your horse do when you canter around or trot around or anything like that? They just go make circles around your friends. Here, they're unlocked from the whole arena. They're not going towards their friends. They're not going towards home. They're just kind of traveling. And you see how his stride got nicer and nicer and he's not actually getting spooked by anything anymore. It's all because we didn't care which way he was going. We didn't care if he wanted to get away from those logs, go towards this corner, just kind of, and you start to find that wherever you look, is where your horse starts to go and it doesn't and your hands are really kind of a uh, they're a footnote so try that sometime just canter around and toss the reins over your horn and put your hands on your hips really trust yourself practice putting your hands where your horse's hands are leading with your inside leg there. Step three is fun. And we'll show you one more time. Step four here from there. Take my hand out to the right. Wait for him to come on down and then cinch my hand up over the horn. We'll ask him to step over so he can show you guys that right there over the horn. Perfect. Step three, forward motion. <laughs>